believe, to start us off. And there's an error early right here in the Ron Massey Cup. Oh, and the dummy half does a little jink and the jank. Tries to go himself and he's got over early. As simple as that. Raymond Maroon. And he uh, takes it to the ground there. This time, Arahu gets his hands on it. He goes left. Dummy's got... Throws a haymaker, and this time, look who's got the ball here. Well, it's their wing through quarter. It's Minahinik. Have a look at him. Joshua Minahinik. 40, 30, 20. He's got about 10 to go, and you can close the gates. And the Magpies have gone over against the runner play, and they've managed to put one on through their winger, Joshua Minahinik, through a pass that went to ground. So it looks like they're coming to the left now, but you know, he schemes and goes himself. Pritchard, he steps, he goes right, and he finds it. Well... There's another little dummy half schema right there. Ryan Pritchard, straight out of dummy half. And tough the whole game. Got cautioned earlier for a dangerous tackle. He's a nice barnstorming run for the 24, and he just goes over. Walkington Mead. Now they come to the right. Oh, what about the ball work there? And it's a nice ball, and he's found McKeon. And McKeon's going length of the field. He's. He's just got one more to beat. He manages to find his winger over there, and he goes over. So Dylan O'Connor looks like he's gone over in the corner. And it's got the height. In fact, it's got the distance too. Solid defence now. The Reds got a little bit of energy in their D. And uh, the Magpies making their way up through the middle now. This is Armstrong. He's been good. That's a good carry since he's come out off the bench. And he manages to pop on with some second phase play. And he's a quick scoot right up the middle now. This is Maroon. It's a great one. He might go all the way. In fact, he does. And he beats a fullback. McKeon. And he goes over. Raymond Maroon. And he scores one for the Magpies. And that'll send them at 30 points. And Just he's been good on the boot, hasn't he, O'Brien? That will be uh, curtains on this Ron Massey Cup qualifying final. You can hear the sirens gone in the background. Referee Lutringer blows his whistle. And the Wentworth Bill Magpies going out 32 points to six over the Glebe Dirty Reds here today in the Ron Massey Cup. And had an error in their first set. They're doing much better here. Up over the halfway line, they go off the Castles pass, who fires it to Jason Smith. And Smith uh, sends Mitch Gray away. Gray into the backfield, finds support. And Anthony Raheb, who runs around to score next to the post. That was a thing of beauty from the Hawks. Uh, so they want us to be down 10 or 12 nil in these early stages. Uh, floated out there. The 5A Gray, they get the ball out, and it's going to come to Samisa Kiowa, who runs around and scores. He tries to improve the angle a little bit, and it's their second try of the afternoon through Sione Tupanua. Smith, short to, uh, to Adam Perry. Perry gets the ball out the back. They're keeping it alive. Going close line. I think they're over the line. In fact, the Hawks, they've got their third in what could be the final attacking set of this first half. It's a miracle ball out the back. It's going to be picked up by Mugius, who gets away from a couple of defenders. He's still going as Nick Mugius. He might go all the way. The win three quarters in the corner. 24 points to nil. Meter in from Tachi Strap. He's trying to bend it back. It's a beautiful strike, and it's a great way to end what's almost been the perfect half. John Torvati there. The large share of the, the tackling. Kieran now goes to the fullback and fuck it to Murphy. He's over the line and he gets it down. So it's the perfect start for the Bulls. Where there's life, there's hope. And, and finish him off through Lockie Poco. Vital tackle there by the back rower. Last tackle. Kieran grubbers in behind and picks up beautifully for the big number eight. Christian Maniyama is under the post. And all of a sudden, the Bulls have gone bang, bang. Two quick tries side of the ground, back towards the middle, now it's Cryer, now to Fakatamafi, he grubbers one in behind, they're coming through and they might get the try, that's brilliant football from the Hill Bulls, 18 metres out, right foot strikes, it steers it towards the uprights and the flags are up again, you get one play here as Castle thumps the ball out of play, and the season stays alive for the right Eastwood Hawks. It was a nervous old second half.
but they've held on by 26 points to 18. They've lived 26 points to nil at half time. And despite a great fight back in the second half from the Hills District Bulls, they fall just short with Ryder Eastwood running out.